Hi, my name is Xavier Moyer and I'm homeschooled. This speech I'm about to show you is for the National New Zealand Astronomy Speech Competition 2011 in Category 2. I'm going to talk to you about black holes. Black holes are black disks that suck up everything in their path. They are so strong, not even light can escape past its event horizon, which is why black holes are black. The event horizon is the edge of a black hole, the point of no return. Black holes are made from dead stars, because when a star gets really, really big, it can explode into a supernova. If the star was 20 to 40 times the size of our sun, then the gravitational force of the core of the star would be so strong that it would compress itself into a black hole, kind of like if you dropped a bowling ball onto a blanket. That reminds me, black holes come in all sizes and weights. For example, if there was a black hole that weighed as much as a mountain, it would only be the size of an atom. Imagine how heavy a supermassive black hole would be. Anyway, black holes were discovered back in 1970 by a satellite called Uhuru, meaning freedom in Swahili. Its purpose was to look for X-rays, but it found Cygnus X1, a star, going round and round in a circular motion around something invisible, almost. And astronomers thought it must be a black hole. Since then, 14 black holes have been discovered. And there's even believed to be a black hole in the centre of every galaxy. But black holes are really hard to find since they give off no form of radiation. No human being has ever been inside a black hole before. But if they did get too close to a black hole, they would all stretch out like spaghetti which is why the process of a human being falling into a black hole is called spaghettification. Sometimes, but very rarely, black holes can merge together. But if you, even you're a little bit wonky, the, one black, the bigger black hole will probably eat up the other black hole. And black holes even leak matter falls out the edges of the black hole and the black hole shrinks and if the black hole shrinks too much it will explode with a big giant explosion and some scientists think there's such thing as wormholes and white holes white holes are the exact opposite of a black hole instead of sucking up energy and matter. They spew out energy and matter. That's all I have to say to you for now about black holes. Thank you for watching. Bye.